So in this video, we're going to be going over the stochastic oscillator. Stochastic oscillator, just like the RSI, is a momentum oscillator that shows overbought and oversold signals. But the stochastic oscillator gives you a little bit more detail than an RSI. And the reason being, if you look here, let's go ahead and add it onto the chart. Stochastic. Reason that this is going to give you a little bit more than an RSI is that you see that there's two lines instead of one, like the RSI. If we put the RSI next to it, you'll see that the RSI has one line, so task it has two. So, how do you use the stochastic? There's two ways. You can look, you look for price, and stochastic gives you a trigger point for a potential trade in price in the market. So if you're looking at an overbought signal, you see that there's an overbought signal here. Different than an RSI, a stochastic is going to give you a point in the market where the momentum shifts. So it gives you a more definite point of a shift. And the reason is if we look here and we zoom in on this part, zoom in here you see that in this area here in this area here it crossed so the blue line crossed down below the orange line and what that means is that the momentum is shifting it shifted and this could be a potential reversal in the market especially when it's really overbought like this so you see how it's overbought so over 80, this would be the overbought level. We go back out, the lower level in this, instead of 30 like the RSI, is 20. So overbought is above 80, and oversold is below 20. So you see here, so you see here that you get your over, you get your overbought signal here. You see that price is high above the trading range and you see that you know after that signal happened after it crossed it went down like that you know again you always want to use oscillators as a form of confirmation for another strategy but this can be extra confirmation to a strategy that you may be using already so we're in a an uptrend so you see, I mean, a downtrend. So you see how you have this point here and it crossed, it was really oversold, overbought. It crossed and you had a good move down. And then from here, it comes back around. It comes back around, we're in a downtrend. It comes back around here and you see how price was overbought again in a downtrend. So it was overbought in a downtrend. So what are you gonna wait for? You wait for, you can wait for either the cross back down or you can wait for the two stochastic lines to start to separate from each other and cross back under 80, which is the oversold area. And from that point, you know, that could be a potential look at a, at a buy or a sell. You look here, it gives you another opportunity. So it comes back around. See that it's over overbought. Price is at a high point and, and during a downtrend. It's overbought. And you see here that it crossed in this area. So it crossed in this area. So that can give you another opportunity to take the market down. During the uptrend, let's see if I can find one real quick. Let's use this. Let's use, I think we'll use this. So in the uptrend, use the recent uptrend. There we go. So in the uptrend, uptrend started here. Price was oversold. So you see right here, price is oversold. Price is oversold here. It crosses up. 
and that could be a potential buy. But it's a say you don't want to take the first buy, you want more confirmation. You'll wait for the next opportunity. So price comes back around, price comes back around, oversold again, and you wait for that cross to happen. The cross happens here, and there's your there's your buy. Then you wait for it to come around again. As long as the trend is still valid, so as long as the trend is still valid, this is the this is the last the low. So price has to break this low here for the for the trend to change. It has to break and close below that low. Or if I use a more accurate price has to cross below that low for it to be a trend a trend change. It doesn't happen. You see that price comes back around here, comes back around here, it crosses down in here when it's really oversold, and then there's your buy. There's your buy. But look, it happens again. So price comes back around, creates a low point in the market, creates a low point. So task is oversold again, it crosses up. And there's your continuation and you can literally keep doing this until you see that price is about to reverse or slow down it comes back around price is about to slow down or you see that price has reversed and the trend has been broken but you see there price is lower price is oversold price is at a low point here Crosses back up, you know, there's your buy. And it keeps going like that. You can literally just keep playing it over and over again. So right here, so it's actually to go back. It's actually right here. Price tapped it there, cross back up, and there's your buy. And you can just literally just keep going and, and using the stochastic as a art, as a confirmation for a trade until, you know, you lose, you lose a trade or you break even on a trade or the, it, the momentum completely stops for a while. So this is how you can use the RSI, this, not just the RSI, the stochastic. And this is a way to where you can make stochastic work for you and basically give you opportunities where you can interact in the markets.